So let's get started. So, uh, <coughs> the first thing I did is not scripting actually, it is the GUI. So, if I go to here, I put a screen GUI and I put a frame inside it called no detect. Make sure this is named no detect, the correct capitalization, spacing, everything because it'll be using no script. So, now what is no detect? It's exactly what it sounds like. Let me make it visible. It's basically the place that usually, uh, I don't like a joystick is super hard to make in Roblox Studio. I actually never made one before, so uh, we're, we're still for mobile. We're still going to be using the you click on the screen to like aim. So what no detect is is if your finger goes on no detect when you're playing mobile, it, it won't like register that as aiming because this is near the joystick. You don't want to actually be aiming with your while you're walking, right? That that'd be like bad. So yeah, I would suggest making no detector small because when you're actually playing on the mobile device, it will seem bigger than it is. And make sure to make the background transparency one. Uh, still make it visible though. But make sure to make the background transparency one so you can't see it during gameplay. Uh, the last thing, this is crucial during no detect. You have to make your size and your position scale. See my X? My scale is this. Make sure your offset is zero. For every single thing and position and scale, and this is so it can like scale correctly and it won't go like out of, and the frame won't go out of bounds. Now let's go back to the scripting. And we only change things into top-down camera, nothing in here, so uh, ignore that. Now actually, oh, I I already changed the script before I made this video because I had to do a lot of figuring stuff out. So uh, let me show you what I changed. So everything right here until we get to mobile. Now, what is mobile? So basically, mobile is basically just true or false, see if it's uh, mobile or not, you know? And this will influence the script. And mobile position is basically the same thing as like where you're touching. And since we're not really touching anything in the beginning of the script, we're gonna make it to vector 3000. Now we change some things inside here. First of all, uh, there used to be this this chunk of the script used to be over over here, but I put it inside of this if else statement, and yeah, I put the stuff already in there inside of this else section. Copy it over to here, and this is basically saying if you are a mobile player, it will do this script. Now, how's this script different from this part? Well, this is because instead of having mouse start hit, it has mobile pause that X, and over down here too. Let me scroll right so you can see. So yeah, that's uh, what we changed over there. Now, if I scroll down, we have some new stuff. First of all, UI is that touch started. Basically, if you start touching the screen, the beam will be enabled so you can see where you're aiming. Game process basically means are you chatting? So if you're like touching and you're chatting, it's not gonna process anything. And since like you're actually like tapping the screen, it's also gonna change the mobile to true, which tells the script you are a mobile player. Now, touch move this is a bit harder. So yeah, first obvious thing is game process. Didn't you turn in? The second thing is it's not gonna run any of this code if if uh, you are tapping anywhere in the no detect frame, which I talked about earlier. This is what this part does. This part basically just shoots a raycast from your camera to see where you're tapping on in the 3D world, and then it's just the mobile position to that raycast. And we added UIS dot touch ended. Which basically, once you release your finger off the screen, uh, if if your beam is actually enabled, first you're gonna make the beam falls, and you're gonna fire that projectile where your mouse pointer is. Cause you remember your mouse pointer, it's gonna be where your finger is because of this. And uh, this up there, and this actually all uh, all I changed. So this might seem like a short video, except uh, it actually took me like an hour trying to figure. All of this out because I usually don't make, really make many mobile stuff. Can't test it for you guys because I'm recording on a computer, not mobile. So yeah, uh, let me know if this works, and I'm pretty sure it does because I tested it on my phone. 